Hey guys, it's Angie Bells, my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys, I'm back and we are going to make some pen and pencil holders for our junk journals. So, let me just show you how they what we're making. We're making these. Look how fabulous these are. Aren't these beautiful? And these are made out of my printables, out of my um shabby sheet Christmas printables. Pink shabby sheet Christmas printables. Not every part of the printable is pink. It just has a lot of pink in it. So, and I put a paper clip on the back of all of them so that you can clip this on a page or inside of your junk journal. Here's another one. Isn't she precious? I love for Christmas to, and look at this little bit precious girl. And then there's another one here. Oh, her head kind of got chopped off there. But anyway, look at her. I love for my Christmas printables. They are all about, um, I put um, children um, children, because when I think of Christmas, I think of little kids. I love children. So I did a lot of children and also these, um, dolls that this lady makes. And, um, there's a clickable link below. She's from another country. I can't even pronounce her name at all because it's in another language, but, um, she gave me permission to use the pictures of her beautiful, um, they're stuffed animals, but they're kind of like dolls. They're both mixed together you'll see as we go along. And so, um, I use mostly that and then I'm intermixed florals and all kinds of stuff. So it's very shabby chic, very vintage looking, and it doesn't scream Christmas. And that's what I wanted. So, and you can see right here, I have the 25th. See how I sneak, the, I sneak the Christmas in there without just screaming Christmas. Now this, this is also one of my printables but it doesn't, um, this one is just all florals and um, the background of it is different scripts and then little florals. You'll see the full thing of it. This is only the one page, this doesn't look very Christmassy at all, but I wanted to add it in there because it matched everything else. So um, now what I did is I, so what I'm going to make the same three again, but what I did instead of on these ones on the back, I didn't have, I just had the, plain white paper. Oh, and we're, I printed these off on cardstock. So what I did is I t went into my uh, scrapbook papers and I found something that's just solid. So it doesn't matter which way it goes, it won't be upside down, right? Because you're going to be, how you're going to fold these to make these V's. So um, if you want to do this, um, go through your scrapbook paper and find something that's just, it doesn't, the design doesn't matter which way you go. There's no ups, up or down on the uh, design. So these pink and white polka dots, there's no up and down, right? Okay, and um, oh, and if you do this, what you need to do, at least in my printer, this is how it works. You need to put the the um, the printed side, if you want to be able to print on the back, the printed side needs to go up like this and put all your white paper, originally this was white, that needs to go down. The side that you want to print on needs to go down. Your, your design or whatever's on the front of your needs to be on the upside. So the white page, which just would have been white, but I already printed on the back side, that white page needs to go down in your, in your, um, in your little paper catcher. Okay. So I wanted to explain that. Um, oh, and before I forget, because I've been forgetting to show, I'm going to share with you guys my Christmas printables. So if you're interested in my Christmas printables, my Etsy shop is my fairy treasures, just like my YouTube channel. Um, every five pages is their printables and every five pages is two dollars okay and it's called um, pink shabby sheet Christmas okay so here's the first one this is one of the ones we're going to do today that's what this one is okay and like I said it really has nothing to do with Christmas it's just very pretty it's all these all these letters different uh, like love letters and script and then I did all these pictures of florals, but it went with it. So we went with it. Okay, here's the next one. This is this one here. What it originally looked like. Okay. And we have the 25th here and the little little girl there to represent Christmas. And some of these I've already printed off a couple of times. This one only printed off halfway and got stuck. <laughs> so sometimes we'll see me printing things off more than once. Anyway. This one here is what this one originally looked like. Okay. I have these beautiful little children. Aren't they just precious? Oh. 
Okay, and then these, this right here are tags. Okay. Look how gorgeous she is. She is just beautiful. Okay, so then, um, and okay, I only did like three of the, I only did like maybe, I think five verticals and then 10 are horizontals. So for those who do the tall skinny journals, there is five of them that you can fold into uh, to signatures if you want for the tall skinny journals. Everything else is done horizontally just to put, you can fold them right up into um, signatures. And I made sure when I did the design that it landed right. You know what I'm saying? So when you folded it either vertically like this or horizontally for the other ones, it always ended up right. So anyway, so here's this one. Those are those dolls, like kind of like doll stuffed animals I was talking about that she makes. Aren't they gorgeous? And then here there's a little Christmas gift with candy canes and a little Christmas tree at the bottom. Music, because you know, Christmas time. Now these are are done horizontally. So when if you get these and you print them out, make sure that you print the ones that are vertical looking vertical and the ones that are horizontal, print them out with the horizontal, okay? Don't print out horizontal pages vertically and don't print out vertical pages horizontally. Okay, again, see, these are her dolls. I'm gonna call them dolls. They're more dolls than just stuffed animals. And to me, these are so, they're, they're for always, but they fit right into Christmas. Here's a candy cane a um, candy cane, a Christmas tree, and a Christmas ornament. Beautiful doll again. And there's a clickable link to um, her Facebook in the description, in her her Facebook, her um, Instagram, and Instagram is believe where you can order her dolls. So, and then there's all kinds of pink and white Christmas presents. There, 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 and the doll. And then beautiful florals. And then um, two beautiful girls. Look at these girls. Aren't they both just gorgeous little babies? Oh, Christmas, pink Christmas gift. 25th up in the corner. Okay. Her dolls again. And also, this is also one of her pictures that she took um, of some um, stockings that she created. Um, and then her dolls there. And then the 25th there. And I collaged it with a bunch of other stuff. So just very vintagey, very shabby chic. The 25th, more of her dolls, the little Christmas gifts, two candy canes right there. Okay. So I just wanted to share a few of these pages with you so you guys can um, just get a sense of what my Christmas printables are looking like. I think I did three of this one. Yeah. Beautiful little babies. Look at this little girl and this little girl. Aren't they just gorgeous? So, again, children, okay? And so, this doesn't scream Christmas, so if you wanted to use these in your uh, junk journals throughout the year, there's pages that you can easily use. I mean, the little pink gifts don't mean Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Those gifts could be at any time, but I did put them on there. This one does have more. It has Christmas gifts and a Christmas stocking. And then the beautiful doll here in the corner. And then this is rep this is talking about caco like chocolate. All right, last one. Look. Okay, I do want to just want to show you really quickly some tags, really quick. I think they're at the bottom of this whole heap of stuff. Just a few things of tags, so you understand. So you get a kind of a layout of the tag situation. What the tags look like? Just a second. Okay, so here's some tags. I think you get five pages of tags. Okay, this is just so you can get an idea of what the tags look like. Okay, is there two pages of this one? Yeah. There's this. And that there. Okay, so I just wanted to share some of the tags. For some reason I was printing well, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, so here's three more tags. I actually don't think these tags made it, but these are two more tags. I don't think these made it because of how they printed out. Well, you'll see. You'll see the... But you get the idea. Why don't you just get the idea of what the tags look like? Look how beautiful those are. 
Okay, so just so you get an idea of the tags. Okay, here's one more set and then we're done looking at tags and we'll get started. Okay, so I just wanted to share with you what um, the printables look like. And if you like I said, my shop is my fairy treasure. There's a quick, clickable link below. Um, every five pages is two bucks. So it's very affordable. And there we go. And then um, on the tags, I think you're only getting four per page. You're only getting four pages of tag. Four or five. No, you're getting five. Five for 20 for the $2. Never mind. I had problems <coughs> with uploading into Etsy. So excuse my, you know, me being sounding confused. Okay, so anyway, let's take these pens out of these. I can put these here. All right, so let's get started. Let's work with this one. I think we're going to make two today. Let's do these two today. And we might get a third one done. We'll do this one first. Okay. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to cut and make, you need to do, you can do six by six or eight by eight. I made all of mine eight by eight. And the reason I made all of mine eight by eight is because um, they're longer. The six by six were a little bit shorter. I wanted them to look a little bit longer and I think they look more substantial. So if I was, I would cut out my pages eight by eight and this is already, I think eight basically. Oh, and the other thing I want to tell you is when you're trimming, when you're cutting your papers, pay attention to what you're, cause you're going to have to cut some of it off, right? To make an eight by eight piece of paper. See what you're cutting off. Like, see, if I cut it off here, I'd be cutting off that little girl and I don't want to. So I'm going to cut up here. So you just have to decide what you want to keep and what you want to cut off. So um, if you're using something where it doesn't matter, like it's all just, you know, squares or polka dots or hearts, or, it won't matter where you cut at. So. All right. Sorry, guys. I thought I heard somebody out in front of my house. Okay. Let me put this back in that fall off. All right. So let's cut this eight by eight. So what you're doing is whatever you're doing, you want it square. Six by six, eight by eight. You can even do 10 by 10 and have a bigger one that you could fit several uh, pens or pencils in. A 10 by 10 one, try it. That would look really cool too. Okay. It just needs to be even. Eight by eight, 10 by 10, six by six, so it's square. All right, so now we have this, right? So we have this eight by eight square. All right, so turn it over. Let me make sure, yeah, turn it over. And then what you want to do is you want to fold this in thirds like this, just like this. It doesn't matter how exact you get about folding it in thirds. Now, do I want this on top or do I want the little girl on top? And I want the little girl on top. So you just have to decide what you want on top, what you want to cut off and what you don't want to cut off. That's it. And then And then make sure that you have it folded right. Like, you know how there's always, it's when you fold, sometimes it's a little uneven. Just even things up. There we go. That looks good. And then I'm going to use my bone folder, or you can use the back of a spoon, just to really seal it. Okay, so now this is what you have, okay? So now you're gonna take this first one here, this corner, and you're gonna bend it back. Now, this is why you want to print on both sides, but like I said, I showed you if you don't print on both sides, how you have it just white, which can look good too. I do think it's gonna look better. See, it does look better in my opinion with having it double printed. Okay, so that gets folded back. Then open this up, and now you're going to fold this one back, too. Okay, just making sure you guys are seeing me. And these are just super simple, but they're going to be so beautiful for your um, junk journals to have these pen, pen and pencil holders. Oh, also, these will make great gifts. Great gifts. Great gifts. 
and then be great for your junk journal. Look how cute that is. Isn't that just adorable? I knew that pink and white uh, polka dot would be gorgeous. So now what we do, and this is the back, okay? The back is going to change, but I'll tell you about that in a second. We're going to first work on the on this whole thing, getting everything glued down. So we need to glue this down, right? So we're going to glue here, here. So let's glue this down. And I'm going to use a glue, a glue gun to do this. I really want instant he adhesion. So that's why I'm using a glue gun. If you want to use double stick tape, you can. If you, you can use any glue of your choice. But I love the idea of instant adhesion with this one. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, what we need to do is we need to glue this down, right? So let's get the glue on there. And do you have to use my printables? Uh, no, of course not. If you want, if you, whatever papers you have, printables, scrapbook paper, whatever you have. But if you like my printables, definitely get my printables and make these do everything with those printables you can do junk journaling card making you can make these you can make ephemera you can do anything you want okay okay so now we have this whole thing shut look how beautiful that looks isn't that gorgeous okay the other thing that we want to do is we want to put the paper clip on the back, right? So um, you have this left over, right? So this can be your cover for the paper clip. Do I want this at the top here or do I want this at the top? Yeah, I want it like this. All right, so let me show you what you're gonna do. You're gonna get yourself a paper clip and I will use one of the, you know, your bigger paper clips like this size, okay? Turn this over. And on this side, you're going to have the small part of the paper clip. Okay. Or if I want, I could have this as the back too, if I wanted, but I want this. Okay. All right. So there's the shorter part of the paper clip there and make sure you put it in the middle. There's the longer side. Okay. That's is the side that's going to show. But to hold that paper clip on, get yourself a piece of scrap cardstock. Which I have a bunch here. Where is it? All right, here's a piece. Trim yourself off a piece of cardstock like that because this is going to go right here, okay? And you're going to take a whole bunch of hot glue. Okay. Oh, we need some more glue sticks. There you go. You're going to take a whole bunch of hot glue and just put it here. A big gob. A big old gob. Don't get too close to the top, though. Or it'll sift everywhere, what you just did. Okay. Oh, it's fine. Okay. And what that does is that's going to make sure that this paper clip gets held in, okay? And if you need to, on the sides here, just put a little bit more glue. Let's do it. There we go. And this is just going to ensure that it holds that paper clip down. And nobody's going to see this. So now this is on the back of this, and this is going to get glued down. Okay. Now, if you don't want the paper clip um, on the back so you can paper clip it in, then don't put it on here. You don't have to. So you can make it with this or without it. But I like the idea of being able to paper clip, paper clip this pin holder inside of my junk journal. All right, so what I do to hold this on to exactly where I want, I like to do the bottom first. And 
and that just ensures me staying where I'm gonna glue this in at because it actually doesn't fit completely the whole width of this but I just put it see I centered it in the middle it's almost as wide okay and then um let's just and then I'm gonna hot glue this all in all, all down And you could use double stick tape for this too. But I just think it's so much faster just to use the glue gun. And I actually think it'll be more secure to use the glue gun. And we definitely want things to be nice and secure. And then this is... Now yeah, that's good. Look at that. So... Let me just show you. See, this can clip right on here. See? There we go. I'm just showing you on a page how it can clip right onto a page. Fabulous. Now, from here, if we want, we can decorate this with some laces and trims. Or you can leave this, because this would be beautiful just like this, you know? Let me show you what it looks like with a pin in there. This is those diamond pens from Dollar Tree. I love those. Okay. And that's gorgeous. You can even do a pen that I put a pen in here. This is actually a stylist um, that has one of these. And put that in there. Okay. How nice to give somebody like a notebook and then um, one of these for Christmas. You know, those might be some of my Christmas gifts this year. I'm going to show you how to print on, um, take my printables and tr and go ahead and apply them to the front of a, um, oh, what's the word? A notebook, but the composition notebooks and turn them into journals so that people can write in and have, give them as gifts. This with that would be so, uh, uh, that'll be one of my next videos. Okay. Anyway, did I glue this top here? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I, yeah, it's good. All right, so next we're going to do some trim on here. Um, this trim here, it's gorgeous. It unravels though. So what I do, because it unravels, I automatically just put a little hot glue right at the end whenever I cut it. Let it just sit there for a second and then go like that. And that's how you can stop the unraveling of trim that you have that when you cut it it unravels I wish they would have made that better so it didn't unravel like that but it does anyway so let's put on some trim that's pretty don't want this I'm trying to think if I want this or if I want let me look at my other trims I have some other trims sitting here just a second A little basket here of trims okay I'm looking at this one too this one's really pretty see so for this I don't know if I want to do or if I want this that is so pretty or do I want this okay for this one I think I want this one so that's what we're gonna do One second, just, I have another trim here too. No, okay. Oops, sorry guys. So we'll leave these two trims out that we're gonna work with these two and let's get myself straightened back up. There we go. Am I straight again? I get these trims at a uh, Hobby Lobby. This one I just bought for, um, it's $2.49 and I always buy it when it's 40 or 50% off. So you're paying only $1.25 for this. This one is really expensive. $5.99. I got it for $1.37. They have clearances on their trims. They just had a clearance on this trim about two months ago. So usually in the summer around June or July, they'll clearance out the um, trims. So pay attention around June or July in the, every summer and um, 
you can um, get your trims at a 75% off, which is an insane deal. I bought so, so many trims at this last clearance. I'm gonna do just a little bit at a time so my hot glue doesn't dry out. I have a problem whether it's a glue stick, my glue, my glue gun. If I if it sits there for too long because it's so dry here in Las Vegas, um, the glue will dry right up. So I can only can do little bits at a time. And do you have to do the trim? No. You can just leave it because just without the trim, they're really cute too. So either way, but I just thought we'll do trim on this one. We'll do trim on this one. I just thought that'd be cute. Okay, let's do... And I do like to... Um, let some trim hang off the end and then trim it afterwards. It gives me a little tail to work with, like leaving that right there. It's when I very first started. Aren't these gonna be so cute for your junk journal? And you know what? These are pin holders, but if you want, they don't have to be just for pins. You can um, you can put tags in here too. These could be the little holders for tags, little pocket holders for tags. So these could be pin or tag holders. You could put a bunch of tags in there. That would be cute too. It just hit me. I'm like, wait a minute. This is a great little pocket for you know anything. All right, so let's trim this off. Let's trim that off. Let's trim that off the bottom there. A little more glue. Okay, I'm just I'm just putting a little glue on the end here too. These don't seem like they want to unravel a little bit. I don't want any unraveling. So let me do it to the bottom of these two trims too. It just takes the smallest amount of glue to the end, to the bottom of it. Just the smallest amount and that will stop that unraveling. Okay. Oh, look how pretty. The reason I do the bottom yet is because I want to know if I want to do some trim like this at the bottom. If I want to do something like this. Let me see. Something like that and this. You know what I do? That's gonna be pretty. Okay. Okay. Using my little spatula. which I should have been using the whole time instead of using my fingers. And save these little pieces. There's stuff we do with stuff like this. So save all these little, little pieces of fabric. And then... There we go. Nice. Now, let me see if I want to trim that a little bit more. Yeah. 
Okay, and then we're gonna put this at the top right here. There we go. And then let's trim this here. And then trim this. Just touching the, end, the edges so they don't fray too much. There we go. Beautiful. And then let's do this at the top too. Okay, so we'll go across the top. Sorry guys, let me just look a little bit. If I'm not a Frank, oh, I'm not. You guys are seeing. Just want to make sure that I got this nice and even. Oh, how pretty. And then trim. And trim. And then secure with a little bit of hot glue on the edges of the ribbon or trim. Look how beautiful. Isn't that pretty? And I wouldn't put trim on the back because especially because you want this if you want it to um to lay flat, you know, by putting trim, it won't lay as flat. But it'll lay nice and flat with your paper clip on the back. Okay. Gorgeous. Let's put a pin in here. put that pink one in there see is that beautiful I love it beautiful Ooh, there's a little bit of strings hanging here let me just secure that a little bit more with the hot glue looks like it I hate that how the trims like to unravel that perturbs me. At least we can fix it though. Okay, so let's make another one. Wanna make another one, guys? Yes, let's make another one. Okay, so there's this one. We'll put that one aside. Let's make one out of this. So all the printables I'm using right now are from my Etsy shop. So you can check it out below. Let's get the glue strings on my glass mat off of here because that is irritating me. Okay, again, we need to make this 8 by 8 So first, let's measure this 8 by 8 Okay, and then you have to decide what you want to cut off here. I definitely want this flower up here, so... I know we'll cut it off here, which is fine because this will end up on the back anyway. Okay, so now we have our eight by eight here, right? Turn it over and let's fold it into thirds. And it doesn't matter how far this goes over or not. Okay, it doesn't have to go all the way over to that side. It all works. Open it up and just make sure you have it folded evenly though. Like right here, I always do this. So I always have, a, I'm always off a little bit so I have to refold it.
There we go. <coughs> okay, so do I want this on top or do I want this on top? And I do want the pink on the pink flower on top. Okay. Back of a spoon or use a bone folder to really just make sure everything's nice and sealed. Okay. And the first thing we're gonna do is fold this back. This is fun. I'm gonna make a ton of these. And I just decided this is gonna be my Christmas gifts. This with taking my printables, like take the matching, like print this out twice. So take the matching printable and then apply that to the front of a, um, why do I keep forgetting what kind of thing that is on the front of a um, notebook? But I'm trying to think what kind of notebook, composition notebook. Um, and then give it as a set for Christmas. People would love that. Yeah, I'm gonna make a heap load of these and the uh, notebooks and little journal or the journals to match it. That's going to be fabulous. I'll make a video on how I um, how I do it. It, it is a, it, it's not hard, but I do use a certain technique to really apply them on there. And you can either uh, to, to apply my um, whatever artwork you want to apply to the composition notebook. Um, there is a way of doing it, and I can tell you what. I'll do a video on it. We'll do that soon. Oh, that's cute. Oh, wait a minute. I wanted this to go. Okay. Okay, I'm changing. Well, it doesn't really matter because it's being covered. Look. Remember I wanted this here, but it's not being shown. That's fine. But I'm going to put this one on over here on the top. Even though my flower is getting covered anyway. Bummer. I want my flower to be seen. Oh, well. Okay. Continue on. Okay. There we go. See, that's what I was talking about, too. Just kind of think about what you want, even when you fold this over, because I didn't think about that. So, but we're fine. It'll still be beautiful. And this is the other thing. If you want to um, collage on this at all and decorate this all with collage and just do it on plain paper or even something like this and then do some collage on here, you can do that too, which I might do because I want that flower on here. So I might put that flower here. Look how pretty on the back this flower Just one second. I'm going to go through my printables real, real quick here because I have. If I don't find it right away, I will pause you guys for a second. So you guys aren't just sitting there while I hem and ha looking for. Okay, here it is. Do I have more than one of these printed out? I don't know if I do or not. Okay, it's okay. I'll print out another one. Um, because I may, I may be able to just cut that flop that out and apply that on here, right here on the front, anyway. So let's just do that. So this will kind of introduce you to this. You know what? We're gonna cut it. Oh, no, we'll go like this. Okay, so we're just trimming this out. 
We may use scissors on this part. We'll see. I don't know. Okay, got it. You guys, I got this metal ruler, Dollar Tree. And I like it better than the plastic rulers because it's sharper and it just, you can really tear things good with it. Okay, but there's only a little bit. See this little white edge? I want to cut that off. There we go. Just to trim that up a tad bit more. This too. Okay. So let's see if we want to take this and put this right here. Don't want that like that. Don't want this here. What I'm not liking, I'm liking this butted here, but I'm not liking this right here being, um, I usually like a torn edge. So let's just see. I like torn edges, period, but yeah. See, I think that looks way, I think that looks really nice. And I love that torn edge right there. So let me get some glue. I'm going to use some Eileen's Tacky for this. Do I have my... Yeah, I have a brush right here. Oh, if I can reach it. My glue brush. So I'm over here on a piece of notebook paper, just using that as my glue surface. Okay. Oh, I need a baby wipe to get my gluey fingers. Yes. So look, I just discovered something else. Like I said, I could have put a picture here, um, like a little, a little uh, wallet sized picture here. I could have, I could have uh, collaged a whole bunch of different things on here. So, you know, also um, realize you can do that too. myself some baby wipes right there. What time is it? How long have we been on here? Okay, 42 minutes. All right. Now, we need to glue this down. So we got all that glue down. We need to glue this down. I am going to use the hot glue for that. I always say this, there's no wrong glue. It's just the right glue for what you're doing at the time. So, have all your adhesives. Have all different types of adhesive because a different adhesive is great for whatever, a different adhesive is good for whatever you're doing. So, and you get to choose. Okay. Beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. I love it. Okay. So now we need to create the thing, the, the paper clip jimmajig on the, on the uh, back. So do I want this like this or do I want this like that? And then it ends up at the bottom. Let me see what I want. I think I want it like this and have that flower at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, so let me get a paper clip. And let's put the short end of the paper clip on the pink side. Okay, and then make sure it's centered. Okay. Alright, then we need that piece of cardstock. What do I do with that piece of cardstock? There it is. Let's just trim it up a tad bit more. And then that needs to go right here. We'll get a big glob of glue. Something is in my glob of glue that we don't want. Hold that down. Okay. 
And then if you have anything here that still needs to be glued down a little bit more, get that done. The most important part is to get that big glob, glob of glue right over that paper clip because you want that really nice and secure there so this paper clip stays on good. And then we want to glue this onto the back of this. And this is the leftover piece, right? Of trimming it eight by eight. So save that piece that you tr use as a as, when you trim it off because it'll fit perfectly on the back of here. Isn't that nice to do a project where you use the whole piece of paper? You don't have any, uh, you won't have any um, scraps left. Use the whole piece of paper. That's fabulous. And then let's glue this down here, at the top. Okay. And then glue this here. I'm not using the glue stick. Did I get this glued down? Yeah, got it. Okay. This can also scrape off glue off your glue mat with this ruler. Okay. Glue strings everywhere. Just a second. Okay. I don't want my hands glue sticks or glue strings so look how beautiful this is absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful beautiful and again this will go can go right onto a page in your junk journal and you know what might even help is they have um they have pens at Dollar Tree that are really skinny, and I'm looking for them in here right now, and I'm not seeing any. I have them in my um, in my craft room. I'm in my art room right now that are skinnier, which you might like even better to put inside of your junk journal so it lays flat, so it lays flatter. But maybe you don't care, so do it. Do you? Okay, this is so cute. All right, let's see. I'm going to add some, I want to add um, some trim onto this too. And I'm pretty sure we want the pink again. Let's just make sure we don't want this. Okay, so here's that. Ooh, that's pretty though. It makes it look really vintage. I think we're going to use that one. But let's just make sure we don't want to use this pink one. Oh, they both look good. <gasps> I don't know which one I want to do. Let's do this one because I, I didn't do this one last time. And just makes it look so vintage. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We will put this here. Okay. Let me take my trim and put this on the other side and get this. Okay, you can't be having this tangled up while I'm trying to work. There we go. Put this over here. All right.
All right, for the sake of time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna finish putting the trim. You already saw me do the other one. I'm gonna do it all the way around and then you guys can see. Now, the only reason I'm not putting trim here and here, it starts making this look too small right here. That's why I don't put the trim there. I did that once and I didn't like it. Um, so let me finish this off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to show you what we have here at the end. I did finish this one up with this trim. Look how fabulous, doesn't that look pretty? And then there's the back. And then um, while I was off camera, I made another one. <laughs> I made that third one. And look how it turned out, isn't that pretty? And you guys, if you want these pens, you get them at Dollar Tree, these diamond pens. See, I love them. It's a gift in itself, just the pen. So a diamond pen with this, oh! And then the making the journals. And I promise I'll make that video to show you guys how to make the journals, okay? Out of composition notebooks, really super easy. And you can use my printables that match this. So you can have this matching the printables for the um, cover page to cover the front page of your um, composition notebook, which will now be a, a journal. And here's the back. Now, what I want to explain about this one is I didn't put any trim on this one. I didn't add the paper clip on the back of this one. And look how, because I really love the paper, so I didn't want to cover it up. But what you could do is if you want to paper clip it in, you could still just put the paper clip on the back of this, like this. You could put the paper clip on the back of it, just like that, see? And put your pen right there and it'll still go on to let me just get a piece of card stuck of some sort and you can still paper clip this in just doing it like that it's just a removable paper clip okay so you can still paper clip it in so it'll still work okay so I just want to show you that too if you don't want to uh, put it on the back because I really love this paper so I didn't want to cover up the paper and I wanted to show you how it looks without putting on any trims and I love it without the trims it's not beautiful it's still beautiful without the trim so let me know if you guys are going to make these what you guys think about them um, we have a group called our magical little place on Facebook come join the group um, come be inspired get inspired um, if you make these, show us. If, if you do anything, junk journal, art journal, knit, crochet, whatever, come show us. Like I said, show us your work. Be inspired. Get inspired. Um, if you have uh, a YouTube channel, Etsy shop, anything like that, you can leave links. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, love for you to do so. If you give this video a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, you guys, we have more in common than we don't. And together, we're stronger. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, real quick, if you want the printables, my um, <coughs> pink shabby chic Christmas printables, um, and you like them, my Etsy shop is in the um, description box below. Every five pages is two bucks. Okay, that's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.